Hello everybody, welcome back to Black Country Diecast and Scrapping, but today we're on the back on the diecast side of things. I had a ride out to Bridge North this morning, off little town in Shropshire, if you don't know it. My car was in the garage for a service, all the good stuff that keeps you going, the oils and the filters and whatnot. And I would walk into town, I spot a breakfast with my son, good old Weatherspoon's large breakfast, lovely. Refillable coffee, fantastic. And then I know of a toy shop down one of the side streets there called the Toy Emporium. And I went in, and down around there's a lot of lovely models in there, still mint and boxed, and you could spend a lot of money. Didn't see anything I liked, and just as I was going out, I saw a few cars just on the side. I thought, oh, there's some good ones there, I wonder how much these are. I said, How much are those, mate? He says I'm a couple of quid a piece. I said, a couple of quid a piece. I said, I don't mind if I do. So, I ended up with this one first. Mercedes-Benz says 300 SL or something. I mean, the, the wheels are there, the tyres are there for the age of it. I'm not 100% sure on what the age is. But all it needs is a clean-up and a repaint. So I've got that one, and then I've got this, Ford Console Classic, Corgi, the, uh, it does open, the bonnet flips up, but again, the wheels are there, original, again, just needs a good clean up and a nice paint job, and this, the Vanguard standard, standard Vanguard 3. Again, those wheels are brilliant. Just a good clean up. So, we've got three restorations to be getting on with. I oh, know I've done a Rover Corgi one of these before. Put a little linky loo there. And I know the, wheel, the wheels are a nightmare to take off, so they won't be coming off. So, I just need cleaning, but with the help of masking tape and such we'll get in that looking pretty nice I reckon I think I'll do that one first and then I'll, well, I'll do all three just what order they go in doesn't really matter does it so those cost me six pounds two four six I don't think you can complain at that at all if only they were mint for two pounds I saw one on eBay for 85 quid anyway and then a couple of weeks ago I'd finished the job I went up to Smith's Toy Superstore for my Hot, Hot Wheels fix and I got these Hot Wheels Premium Toyota Collection the Land Cruiser and the Starlet KP61 now that's that's the full set there I've got that one I've got that one that one doesn't interest me that one doesn't interest me but I need that one but they didn't have it but I'd need that Supra and I'll be a happy little bunny. So there we go. A quick little update. What I've been up to. So we'll get started with these. It's currently Saturday afternoon. I'm working later till about one in the morning. So don't think I'll start today. I've got darts tomorrow. We'll see. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time. Because we've got the two tone, we've got the body colour and the roof and the wheels and yeah. But we'll be having there's three restorations there for the next few weeks. Keep us going in between everything else. So, okay, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks very much for watching and ta a bit.